Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So long time no see. Well, it's been a couple of days, but yeah, you know, I'm back, right? So I wasn't going to cover this and I wasn't going to even watch it, but people twisted my arm. They told me how amazingly fantastic it was and I would learn a thing or two. So I thought I'd take a look at it and um, report back to you guys what I thought about it. And let me tell you, it is the stuff of legends. We are going to see an insight and behind the scenes look, if you will, into the feedings of a, uh, I don't want to say a pack of wolves, right? Um, like just just the feeding of the zoo. No, not even that. That's derogatory. The feeding of the Ingham clan, right? Yeah, that's better. We're going to see a behind the scenes look at the feedings. <laughs> Can't. Can't do it without laughing. Sorry. Anyway, do you want to see what they bought? And, um... Let's see what you think, it's fantastic. Good evening everyone and welcome back to my channel. I thought today I would do a little grocery haul since as as I'd just been to the supermarket. Before we do get into it though, Sarah, I've got to say that your hair is looking lovely. I mean, I may have taken the piss a little bit. Have I? No, not really, not really. Although over on TikTok, I may have done so. Now, if you are not following me on TikTok right now, you are absolutely missing a trick. Right? I've just uploaded something exclusive over there that nobody over here has actually seen. So if you want to see what I've uploaded there, you better go on over there and have a look because it is fantastic. And um, yeah, get a piece of the action. Get a piece of the good old Dukes, right? Anyway, let's get on with the show. If you want to see what she bought. And have everything very kindly laid out by Ella on the side over there. Hopefully my videos and content on here won't be as interrupted as this one has been. I filmed this intro about 36 times. It's got very dark suddenly outside. It looks like there's a storm coming over. Anyway, um, I did a poll, not a poll, sorry, a question box on Instagram asking what time... When she said I did a poll, I honestly thought she said I did a poll. <laughs> I thought, who's Paul? <laughs> I know a few Pauls, right? So I was a bit confused, I'm not gonna lie, right? Paul, pool, pool. She means a poll, like a, a question and answer being poll. poll. <sighs> Maybe it's just my ears, possibly of content you'd like to send here and grocery hauls kept popping up and I have to admit I did I do enjoy myself a nosy at other people's grocery hauls I will say though that we never shop weekly so I can't do like a weekly shop I go to the supermarket at least twice a week and I tend to buy up to three days worth of food so okay so now I'm confused Sarah you go out of your way to tell everybody just how busy you are, just how much of a busy mama you are, a busy mama to how many kids you got now? Six, yeah, a busy mama of six, and you yet you willingly, <laughs> you willingly go to the shop more than once a week for your food shop. It feels a little bit excessive, right? Because the majority of people who are as busy as you and have such a hectic lifestyle that we don't know what goes on behind the scenes that your life is so hectic that you would actually want to cut down on the amount of times that you have to go out to get food shopping. Most, pe most people don't enjoy that anyway. So maybe do it once a week possibly and that will, you know, most people can buy food that lasts a week right they can do that i think that's a, a thing maybe i'll go on like a monday and i'll buy tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays and then i'll go back on friday and buy like saturday sunday monday and there's usually like a takeaway or evening out somewhere in the week as well so i think today's grocery haul is like two th is actually two meals because we've already got dinner in for tonight so yeah i thought i'd just show you guys what I got. Also, I am going to say before I even start this, that this is a very healthy grocery shop. Not all of our, don't be fooled in thinking that all of our grocery shops look like this because I do think this kind of defeats the purpose of a grocery haul, right? Because most people, they'll watch somebody else's grocery haul to see what a typical 
grocery haul looks like so you want to see what a typical family of 14 you know if you're watching docker tea people that's what they do right or the sullivan's a typical family of 14 but yours you want to see what a typical family of eight eat but you you're not showing that because what you're actually showing is a, a an improved version of what you usually get so how is that helping us there's some days there's like donuts and chocolate biscuits and crisps and like cream for creamy type meals um it's not today because we are on a little bit of a health kick at the minute so you're trying to tell me sarah that not only did you not buy any crisps or sweets or chocolate biscuits or anything like that but you also don't have any of those in the house currently because if you were on this health kick you'd probably want to get rid of those items you know because your kids probably will be snacking on those on on the daily that doesn't mean to say that we're going completely and utterly clean because we're not i'm sorry what sarah you're not going completely clean right so I'm not very comfortable with your terminology on this and I don't know if you intend it to be controversial or anything like that, but I've recently had conversations with people who have used the, the words clean and it's not been in the context of um, cutting down on your crap eating, right? It's been more of a not a very nice i'm sure that most of you know what um that means but sarah is getting clean with um not eating crap food i know it's shocking to be here i'm still gonna fancy myself a takeaway probably over the weekend or a bit of easter egg and if i do then i'll eat them so the health kick going well then already before you've even started. Yeah, I might just have a takeaway at the weekend. And what? And what? Yeah, Sarah, have a takeaway if you want a takeaway. Just don't, like, claim that you're doing one thing and then you do another thing because, you. I don't know. It just feels a little bit forced. But we are trying to make better choices and drink and eat a bit healthier. So... I took myself today to Aldi and I stocked up on food, fruits, veggies and a couple of meals for the next couple of days. So here we go. This is today's little haul. Not gonna lie, Sarah, that does indeed look very, very healthy and um, you should be proud of yourself before you've even started, right? First step is recognising you have a problem then the next step is actually doing something about it, which you have done. The, the third and final step is the hardest bit. It's, uh, you know, actually putting the stuff in your mouth. <laughs> uh, good luck. And the meals actually that I'm going to be making with this are very, very simple meals. We're going to be having salmon and salad for some and veg for others. And then we're going to be having a chicken mediterranean style veg bake tomorrow or the next day which other day which is going to be so blooming delicious i've not actually made that before and well i have made it before but i usually get like the pre-packed mediterranean veg and i'm like why am i spending that much money when i can get double the ingredients for the same price so because we're a large family it makes more sense large family so so family right a so so large family i would say it's neither large nor small it's definitely not a small family obviously but you know i grew up in a in a six person household right um i didn't regard that as being particularly large and it's only two people less than you so i'm not sure right if you're trying to put yourself in the same category as the um <laughs> the dummies over there the Sullivan's, right? Not quite. You need a few more kids for that. Uh, but then again, I'm, I'm sure that's in the works at the moment. You've just got to um, wait for a few things, I'm sure, at the moment. Trying to sort some stuff out, isn't it? Before you can uh, reveal the, the child yet. This shopping haul today cost just short of £100. 
which is probably about average on what we spend every that's so crazy isn't it this is two days food guys this is two days meals yeah you're saying they usually spend 100 pound every couple of days on on your meals right but isn't this the first time you've done this type of meal so i'm thinking that you've either spent 100 pound like you usually do but bought more or you have spent less or i don't know right i don't know what it is but um it's it is the first time you've done this meal so it's not really a regular thing it's not a a typical spend as you just said with a few veggies and fruits in and this is 100 pounds there's no extras even here other than milk and bread but yeah oh and eggs anyway um, comment down below what do you spend on groceries I know it's such a wide scale I remember when me and Chris used to when Chris used to get paid and we when he used to get paid that's a rather unfortunate slip of the tongue really isn't it <laughs> what's he get now nothing doesn't get paid anymore I'm such a, the life they used to lead right oh, go to the supermarket and for a week's worth of shopping for a whole week we had 70 pound and we used to literally be walking around the supermarket with our calculators. I suggest given your math skills, that's probably wise. <laughs> but also, may I remind you, Sarah, that um, back then you only had three children and 70 pounds went a lot further back then anyway. So I'm not quite sure why this is like, um, you know, 70 pounds sounds more like the doll. <laughs> Sorry, but it does. I know you said it's when he got paid. Are you sure it's from his job? <laughs> because 70 pounds was roughly about how much you got on the doll back then. Um, so I don't know adding everything up so that we weren't embarrassed when we got to the till. <laughs> um, yeah, you're just now embarrassed for other reasons, aren't you, Sarah? <laughs> you, you know, you're there with Chris and he's putting his head down, trying not to be recognised. You're there saying, hey, I'm Sarah Ingham of the Ingham family. Don't you recognise us? And um, Chris is like, oh, fuck's sake, don't. So just don't, right? We don't need this stress in our lives. We don't need to be recognised any more than we already are. Like, come on, put our hoodies up. Come on, put our old, haggardy old iPhone hoodies over our heads and let's go. I remember those days so vividly. Uh, anyway, so yeah, it blows my mind now that the amount of money, not just because we're like extravagant, but because we've got, and obviously we've got more children, but just inflation, like the price of things is just crazy. Anyway. Let's have a little, let's, let's delve deeper into this shopping hall. That was so cringe. No. <laughs> let's delve deeper into this shopping hall. <laughs> into this grocery hall. Apples. Now, I do usually get pink ladies. But okay, so I'm not much of an apple eater, right? So I'm guessing, I'm guessing there's a, an apple <laughs> brand called a pink lady. Am I right? I am right. I know I'm right. <laughs> You know what it sounds more like though when you say pink ladies. <laughs> Just, I, can't, I can't say what I'm thinking in my head, right? I can't say it, but I, some of you may hazard a guess. Right? <laughs> Just, uh, I don't know. I'm not right for this world, am I? <laughs> no. As I'm going to be juicing some of these, I didn't fancy spending ten pound on four packets of apples, they're usually about £2.50 or even £2.99 actually. So it would have been like £12 just on apples. So instead, I got these golden delicious ones. I can't actually remember how much they were, but I know they were like £1 something instead of £2 something. So I got four packs of apples. Two packs of these will be for juicing. I'm not gonna lie, don't waste your, don't waste your fruit for juicing it. You get less juice out of it than the, uh, the content of the apple would be, right? I, I'm not much of a juicer, but I know somebody who does like a juice and they like, will waste an entire fruit on the juice instead of eating the, the, uh, the fruit. It, it's just, no, just don't do it, right? Stop wasting your fruit. And two packs will probably get eaten by the children over the next two or three days. 
I got two packs of ripe and ready kiwis. We actually already have about eight kiwis in the fridge, but they do get eaten quite a lot in our house. And I'm also going to be using some for juicing as well. And then I got some courgettes. These are going to be on the bake tray. I got some carrots. These are partially for the guinea pigs because they love themselves some carrots. Oh, the guinea pigs still exist, do they? What the hell? I <laughs> genuinely didn't think that was a thing. I didn't think so. I'm sorry. To be honest, I thought you'd given them away. Probably still have, but, you know, you could loan them back for a vlog and just show off and say, look, we still got our guinea pigs, when in actual fact they're probably in lotties. Also, Isla, because she loves to take herself a carrot out the fridge quite often and just sit and munch on it, and also for juicing as well. And then I've got some peppers here for the Mediterranean tray bake that I'm going to be doing. Got some potatoes I might put on the tray bake, not 100% sure yet if I'm actually going to be using those on the tray bake. We've got some strawberries for juicing. Oh my god, say juicing one more time. <laughs> juicing. Got these for juicing, these are for juicing. That's for juicing, this is a juicer. This is juicy, josu, juicing, 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 juicing. Has somebody got a new toy? Somebody got a juicer, have they? I haven't been watching your vlogs. Has she got a juicer, anybody? It sounds like she's got a juicer, right? It does sound like that. Um, otherwise, um, <laughs> quite sure what she'd be using. She could use her hands, couldn't she, to wring out the the, the juice out of the, the vegetables. I could see her doing that, Miss Trunchbull. And also snacking on, I like to like put a bit of fruit on Jason Miller's lunch. So whatever they have, whether that be a bit of pasta or a sandwich or some scrambled egg, I always like to like have a little a wraps, whatever. I always like to have like a side of fruit. So a little fruit, maybe like some grapes and some tomatoes or some blueberries and strawberries, etc, etc. So some of those will go for that. And again, the guinea pigs like themselves. They're quite partial to a strawberry, aren't they? Yeah, Isla, a partial to a strawberry, so the guinea pigs will eat there. These will be gone, if not tomorrow, the next day, these will all be gone, all three packs. And they are, I find them an expense. Like I always, like these are almost six pound. They're like almost two pound per punnet, so I think that's expensive, in my opinion. We got some tomatoes, I actually bought more to, over there. We've got two packs of cherry, they were 30% off, so I was loving that. I'm going to be using those tonight, so... That's why I wasn't bothered about the the um, the shot by date. Um, two packs of those, and then two packs of these large family sized ones. I'm going to juice some of those large ones, but I also like having the large ones in because I like to. I'm loving the juicing thing. I seriously am loving the juicing thing. So um, just in <laughs> Sarah is an inspiration to me. Um, I have put together a little montage of her juicing if anybody's interested two packs of these will be for juicing using some for juicing as well and also for juicing we've got some strawberries for juicing i'm going to juice some of those large ones these will also be good for juicing i might use some for juicing because i made some celery juice we got a pineapple to juice and then i might use one to juice with and if you want to see that clip and many more like it, you can head over to my TikTok. Another shameless plug. Thank you so much for those who are over there. Let's get back on with the show, shall we? See how many more things that she can juice. Cut them in half. I'm not going to lie, put a bit of salt on top. Just eat them as a snack. So good. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I've never, ever heard any of anybody doing that sort of thing before. Is that a thing, anybody? Comment down below. Have you ever put salt on a on a tomato and just ate it as a snack? It feels like, it almost feels like it's nullifying any goodness that is in the tomato because it's supposed to be um, a good, healthy, nutritional thing. And then you go and spoil it all by doing something stupid like putting a load of salt on it two loads of broccoli down there and some actually maybe the carrot batons as well i'll probably do for the younger the younger children with dinner tonight because we're having salmon well some are having salmon not everyone's having salmon because not everyone likes it but um definitely jason miller and maybe even isla she can choose but 
either sam well, either salmon with broccoli and carrots or salmon with some salad this is what i'm gonna have cold with a nice hot blooming hot salmon smoky juicy flavorful salmon on a bed of that got sweetheart I like stop ruining my clip, all right? Fucking hell. Tell her. Go on, Sarah, you tell her. Having salmon, do you want it with some salad? Yeah. Or do you want it with broccoli and carrots? Broccoli and carrots. Broccoli and carrots. I thought you might. I'll have that one for lunch tomorrow because I did buy two bags of those. Then we got a little jam lettuce, guinea pigs, those little guineas. Over there, we got some chocolate milk, which was Isla's request. Did Esme ask for some? No. Was it just you? I got two I won't show if I was made asked for some, but I'm sure Mila and Jace will love some. And that's right, your eyes are not deceiving you guys. There is eight packs of eggs there. Now, I won't lie, we do eat quite a lot of eggs in this family just because people love to have them for, for like lunch. So like today, I actually cooked 12 eggs today for lunch. That jug of eggs that I did at lunchtime was 12 eggs. So for one sitting for our family, we'll use 12 eggs. I can see that, yeah, I, I, I get that, right, um, because, well, how many is there of you? I keep forgetting, right, it's not eight, is there, because Aurora's not eating eggs or anything just yet, so there are seven of you, and that's just over one each, one egg each, yeah, a few of you would have two eggs, that's fine, I have two eggs, sometimes even have three, <laughs> fucking so the fact that there's what there, 12, like 48 eggs there, quick maths, hope I've got the right, if I haven't, don't slate me, um, that'll last four days, that's only four days worth of eggs, if we had eggs each day. Well that's if you each had eggs each day, right, um, something tells me probably not going to, but uh, tell me, do tell me Sarah, why did you buy 48 eggs and more pertinently why are they in batches of six because i've never known anybody who's going to buy that amount of eggs to not get like a bigger a bigger one although i don't think you save an awful lot of money for for getting the the bigger boxes i've noticed anyway maybe a few pence i don't know but yeah i think most people would though i think chris is on this diet this protein diet thing at the minute where he's eating a load of eggs so they'll all definitely get to get eaten and the reason i bought so many today was because they're free range eggs which i prefer to buy and they were 50 percent off so for all of those eggs it cost me four pound thirty okay so i'm a little bit confused the reason why you bought so many eggs was because they were free range although you say that you would prefer to buy free range but why is that even in the conversation i don't buy non-free range eggs i just won't buy them even if they are the only things in the shop i know everybody's different i know everyone has different principles and everything but even if they were only had non-free range eggs in the shop i would not buy them i'd only buy free range that's it right? so i'm not quite sure where she's going with this conversation which usually cost me about three pound for 12 so i got 48 eggs for three pound 30. so sorry four pound 30. okay sarah so using my quick maths right um usually spend three pounds on on a pack of 12 so that would be uh, 25 pence each right and um your 48 for just four pound 30 comes to naught point not eight nine pence that's nine pence bloody hell bloody hell that is an absolute bargain a steal a steal sarah in fact <laughs> my quick maths i didn't use quick maths use a calculator <laughs> I didn't. see this is where truthfulness comes into truthfulness right i wouldn't claim something that i don't <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah use a calculator nine pence so it's a bargain it's good if you're going to use that i mean you know you go for it you go for it but i kind of get the impression from what you're doing right because a lot of the stuff here is in the bargain 
bargain bucket or whatever it is that they have over there and all the it's a, a bargain shelf isn't it, i think is it do they well i don't know anyway it feels like you were just stood there at the bargain shelf right and picking out all the bargains like you saw all these eggs and you said right no no ladies nobody is coming around the dome of sarah <laughs> she's not a dome Right, nobody's getting in. I'm taking everything that I can get my hands on. Nobody's getting around me. I'm going to take them all. Don't matter if you need eggs for your little kitties, right? I need eggs and lots of them. That's the impression I'm getting. 50% off because they use by day. It was best, it was display until today, but they don't go out of date for another week. So we'll definitely eat all of it, all of those within the week. So that was an absolute bagging for today. Then we got a humongous bag of baby spinach. We have this in quite a lot of our meals. Have this in pasta dishes. We have it in eggs. In fact, if I make omelettes or scrambled egg, all those egg cups that Jason Miller love for their lunches or breakfasts, I always like to put spinach and things in there. So a nice big bag of baby spinach. We've got some potatoes for the bake that I might do this week. Uh, sorry, for the bake that I'll do this week. I might include the potatoes. I might not, I'm not too sure yet. We've got some red onion, that will be for the bake tray this week, the carrots and peppers I already said. Um, some butter, I wasn't sure if we needed butter, I got some anyway. Lemon and lime. Do people usually use butter for general things? I mean like for, for putting on bread, toast, maybe, maybe toast, I mean they used to, I, I haven't done that for years, but like the only reason I would buy butter is if I was making a cake or making something, baking something that involves using butter, because I feel like if you need something to put on toast or bread or something, maybe like a spread would be better, margarine or something. I don't know, right? I don't know the ins and outs of the healthness, but Sarah is on a health kick, so she knows best that we use these to flavor water. I actually prefer my water just plain straight from the fridge. Um, not, not out of the fridge in the, you know, the dispenser that's on the fridge. I hate really, really, really cold water. So I always fill up like two big um, flasks of water and then just leave them out all day because I know it's gross to a lot of people. That's not what I'm thinking though, Sarah. What I am thinking is what happened to that um, filter that you had, the water filter, the purifier thing, right? Remember you had that uh, a few years ago, it was the big thing in your household, you know, the new purchase that you bought. And I haven't seen it around for a long time. It's almost as if you used it once and then not again. I prefer water at room temperature. I don't, or, or maybe just slightly above room temperature. I don't like it warm, but just slightly above room temperature. When it's really cold, I can't drink it. I just, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But the girls are very partial to themselves, some lemon and lime and cucumber and things like that in water. So I stocked up on that. These will also be good for juicing. And then stocked up on cucumbers. The that's an awful lot of cucumbers there, Sarah. <laughs> I wonder what you're planning. <laughs> Come on. I'm sorry. I have this um, inability to see that, Sarah, that, and Sarah <laughs> not say something. I can't. <laughs> anyway these will be gone probably by tomorrow <laughs> because everyone snacks in this house on cucumber including the guinea pigs jason Mila, isla will just come and cut like a quarter a third a third of the cucumber off and just eat it like it's a lollipop they get cucumber gets used in waters to flavor it i might use some for juicing so they'll be gone they won't like we probably eat like six cucumbers a week don't we something yeah. like that we we'll probably eat about six cucumbers a week I got four more bags of celery because I made some celery juice. You did what now? Celery juice? Is that even a thing, guys? Never heard of celery juice, so I didn't even think you could get... Actually, no, I mean, I, I like, right? Whenever I've chopped up celery to use in my spag bowl, there's always juice on it. So there is juice. I'm not going to lie. It is juicy. Um, but to use it in a juicer as celery juice it sounds kind of horrible i'm not gonna lie it doesn't sound nice in our juice today and absolutely loved it 
So I'm going to make a whole load more of that to put in the fridge. And then I got two big honeydew melons. One, because that's Jace's favourite fruit. He absolutely loves it and gets so excited when I get them from the super supermarket. I tend to not buy them every time just because I don't want him to get used to them and that, that excitement to disappear. But yeah, I don't want him to lose that little spark of excitement he always gets when I get honeydew melon, so. Really? <laughs> I've never heard anything so stupid in all my life, honestly. I, I don't know, maybe it's me. Anybody else hold back fruit and uh, healthy stuff from kids so that they don't get too excited on the daily basis? You've got to hold them, you know, just, just give them that extra bit of surprise on on um you know a co every couple of days or something like that it just feels <laughs> i you have no idea how much i was laughing when i i heard that because i was like <laughs> why would you stop your child eating healthy food just because you want them to be excited for healthy food <laughs> it just doesn't make sense to me i don't buy them all the time but I bought a couple today. We'll probably have one after dinner and then I might use one to juice with. Got two packs of bananas. The other pack's just up over there because they get eaten quite a lot for breakfast in the house by the older girls. Then we got some mushrooms, which I'll probably use for our bake tray. We got a pineapple to juice. Got some bread for the little ones if they want toast or sandwiches throughout the day or breakfast. And then I also got myself some lightly seeded bread as well that's a newie to me so that's not usually on, like everything that i've got here is like tends to be on the shopping list anyway not that any two shops i do are ever the same because they're not but i don't usually buy myself bread however when i was in the shop today i thought oh my gosh i really fancy avocado with salted butter for that health kick you know it's going great <laughs> avocado with who's ringing me now yeah i just fancied avocado and toast but on seeded bread with maybe like a poached egg mm, might make that for lunch tomorrow um right what else down here we've got some meats so i got three packs of this quick cook chicken which is it's like my favorite type of chicken because it's really thin steaks i know chicken breasts usually people's go-to or maybe even chicken thigh but i always find that chicken breasts are so thick and massive and have quite a lot of dirty what i call dirty bits they're not actually dirty they're just in my opinion manky bits so these ones jesus christ sarah's meat is big and massive with manky dirty bits <laughs> Fucking hell, chris you are so lucky 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 are really thin and I just like cooking them way better so I got three packs of those and then I got some steaks for Chris and Esme I'm not sure which is which out of these two but they wanted steak for tea tonight because Esme and Chris don't like salmon so they'll even be having or maybe they're having like half and half I'm not too sure what's with that Yeah. And I like the salmon there. And for some reason, I really find salmon, which I normally don't like. Yeah. Now I'm going to season it. It's going to be nice. It'll be really good. So, Esme tonight and Chris are having a steak. And me and the rest of the children are having salmon. And I'm absolutely chuffed because I managed to get 30% off these half side salmon. So, I got two that one and that one. They're so heavy. They're absolutely massive. They look so juicy. So the older girls will probably have like half each of one. And then I'll have half of the other. And Jason and Mila will have half of the other half. So they'll get like a quarter with their veggies. Um, and then I did a little seasonings stock up. I only tried this heaps of garlic puree for the first time. Um, like literally like a couple of days ago. I, I can't remember when it was. In the last week anyway. And it's so good and it just saves me so much time sometimes if either I've run out of fresh <gasps> sorry guys either I've run out of fresh garlic or I'm just in a real hurry to make a quick meal I can just whack a squeeze of that in and it's only a, I think it was a pound I can't remember I think it was a pound but 
yes, yeah, so I got two of those. I got more smoked paprika because I'm not gonna lie, I use this on most meals. I got two chicken seasonings and I got two garlic granules as well. And then finally, we just got 12 pints of milk. Are they six pints? I'm sure they're six pinters. So I got two of those, that will probably last. I don't know actually, I don't know how long that will last. Milk's very weird in our house. Milk's very weird in my house too. If it smells like feet, should I chuck it away? Sometimes I'll buy two big milks like that and it will last a week. And other times it will last like three days and I'm like, where's the milk gone? I guess it depends if like I'm making porridges for breakfast or the girls are making like loads of ice lattes and using like half a pint of milk every time they make a drink, um, etc, etc. So it just depends. So I'm not actually sure how long that will last. The only other thing I bought today that wasn't a necessity kind of was a necessity. Oh my gosh, was this adorable little kitten silicone suction bowl for Aurora and a matching bib. I cannot believe in a week she's going to be six months old. I, like, I cannot believe it. So I literally got these, I was like, oh my gosh, they had like a pink one, a green one. I think the pink, I can't remember, I think the pink might have been a unicorn or something. And then the green one was probably a dinosaur. But I just loved this lilac kitten one. And I said to Chris, oh my gosh, these are so cute. Should we get these for Aura? And he's like, no, she's way too young. And I was like, are you joking? She's literally like a week and she's six months old. Like, how is she too young? Well, Sarah, not to um, put too fine a point on it, but um, isn't Mila still waiting for her first bib? <laughs> she's saying she's nearly three, right? Um, now, I could be wrong because I don't follow these things like, you know, militarily yesterday, right? I don't. But isn't it that Mila never had a bib? So it's strange that the current baby would now have a bib. And I put it this to you, right, Sarah? I put this to you that the only reason you got it is because it looked cute, isn't it? It looked cute and you wanted it because it looked cute. And you could say the word cute so many more times, and that's why. If it was just a standard bib, like plain bib, would you have bought it for her? No, I don't think so. <laughs> She's not to me at all. I absolutely love the play. Look how cute that is. For like a little dip in the tail, and then like veggies and such. So sweet. I love it. So there we go, that's everything. I'm now going to put this all the way in the cupboards. And actually by the time I edit and get... Are you okay, Jace? Yeah. By the time I edit and get this vlog, <laughs> what have you just seen? What have you just seen? What is it? Lemon. Melon. Melon. <laughs> and no, lemon. No, now we can make lemon lemonade. Yeah, yay. That's it. Don't just blank him. He was actually quite clever there. He said, here's some lemons. Let's make some lemonade. We can make some lemonade with this. In fact, yes, you can make some lemonade with it, Sarah, but will you will you do something with your boy? No. Oh, he wants lemonade. He can go to a shop and buy some for himself, can't he? He's old enough. He's only five. But, yeah, you can make lemonade. In fact, you can do various things with lemonade. You can put ice cream in lemonade. I remember having that when I was young. Don't know why. Don't even know if it's still a thing, but it was a thing back then, right? 80s child if you know you know so yeah i think that's about it is it for this video if you enjoyed hauls like this i don't know if you guys are gonna obviously all audiences are different you're never gonna please everyone but i don't know if this is just boring for everyone personally that's cool Jace. Yes, what, one minute one minute not yet personally i do enjoy watching people's grocery hauls <laughs> i'm just so nosy and i like inspiration and things like that so if you guys did enjoy this comment down below and let me know and i'll see you all back here real soon for another video thank you all so much for watching good night well i for one loved it sarah i thought it was brilliant and um inspirational now i'm gonna go away and make salmon with in fact is that all you all that food was because you wanted to make salmon <laughs> with with um, vegetables and salads. Seems a little bit excessive, if I'm being honest. Although you did say you were making that bake thing, the Mediterranean bake thing. Um, so that's, yeah.
just seemed like a lot of food for very little reward to me anyway yeah that was interesting wasn't it not at all um what's the word i'm looking for not at all like she was holding anything back maybe there was things under the counter that she didn't show us right but i thought it was very interesting and to be honest, I found it hilarious, right? There was a few things there. That, the only reason I chose to do this video is because I found it actually quite funny watching it. And I can't react to something if I don't find it funny. So uh, I hope you've also found it funny. And if you have, please give it a massive thumbs up and show your appreciation for it. Comment all of your thoughts about it down below. Do you cook like Sarah or do you have your own very special way of cooking? And please subscribe to the channel if you are new. Until next time, take care of yourselves. 